to talk a little bit about playing thirds on the harp. Um, it's one of those basic technique things that um, is essential for harp playing and yet it can be tricky to get the hang of because um, you want your thirds to sound in unison and at, a, at one and yet you're having to use two fingers to do that. So I just wanted to share a few tips with you today on how to help you get those unified thirds. Um, you want to make sure when you go, you're going to place your fingers on the harp that you're keeping your um, your knuckles curved. So typically on the harp we play thirds with the second finger and the thumb as well. Um, and so I've got placed them here on C and E. So you've got a third there. And um, what you want to do is relax and then don't even pluck the strings at first. Just practice taking them off and closing them into your palm. Feel that motion of having them both on the string and then coming in. And then try and play them, but don't worry about volume so much. You can keep it quiet and very soft and that's how um, it's recommended for beginners to learn anyway. It's just by playing softly and just just stay really relaxed and just bring them into the palm. You really want to make sure that you're keeping that C handshake when you're doing this. So your thumbs up high, slightly bent a little bit just to get a good volume um, and angle at the string and then your second is curved in and that it's, it's curved all the way to the, the tip of the finger. So again, just think as one, just think really relaxed. Don't stress about it. And then, just try and get the volume louder. Um, one of the things sometimes that messes us up um, when we're doing our thirds is that when we're closing, a lot of times we can move our hand down because we're, we're thinking about bringing our fingers in and and that can um, produce a not very unified third. They're not going to be exactly together. Um, so what you want to do is make sure your hand is staying exactly opposite the strings and that you're keeping it very steady, very, very still and that you're just bringing your fingers in, bringing them home you're staying really relaxed. And make sure that thumb is flipping over that second knuckle. And if you're having problems and, it, and it's looking more like this, um, that's not going to produce very good sound. And also you're, you're going to um, be tempted to hit the some of the other strings. So make sure you're keeping your thumb up high. And if you're having problems with that, that's OK. Just place your third and practice just the thumb motion. So just break it down. So practice the third. Is it flipping over my second finger or is it is it hitting down low? It could be that's your problem. So keep it up high and keep your second finger um, nice and curved. And um, if you're having trouble with the second finger, break it down like we did when I talked about the thumb. So place both fingers on the strings and then just practice the second. Make sure it's coming in all the way into your palm, flat, like this, not curled. A lot of times, um, when you're first starting the harp, you hold, you're holding a lot of tension and you close like this, which really isn't closing. Um, and that just that brings a lot of tension to the harp playing, and also um, it doesn't really get your fingers out of the way as much as they could if you close them all flat. So when they're like this, they, they're more likely to get into strings. So keep it flat when you bring it in. Curve your knuckle and then come in flat. And also make sure that three, four in your pinky are following suit. So it's like a follow the leader game. Um, three, four, and pinky are just working in tandem with the two. Staying even with it when it's out and closing flat when the two 